Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to see how you can import Ready Player Me characters into your Unity project and create custom animations for your conversational characters. If you haven't already, I recommend that you watch the quick setup video and the tutorial on how to create a character on the Convey website before proceeding with this video. Let's quickly create a character. Click the Create Character button and add the name, voice, and backstory. Then go to Configure Character to customize the look. Once you're done, click Create Character. Your character is now ready on the Convey website. For this tutorial, I've already set up our other character, Emily. Okay, let's head back to Unity. Once you've set up the Convey plugin, you can import any character. If you need help, please watch our quick setup video, which has a step-by-step -step guide on how to install the Convey plugin. In this project, we already have our plugin installed and our API key added. To import our character, we first need to create a Convey compatible scene. To do this, click on the File menu and select New Scene. Then choose Convey Scene and click Create. This creates an empty scene that has some of the Convey setup already done. This includes the Transcript Canvas, which is used to show transcriptions for our character. There is also a player character, which allows us to talk to our characters. To import a character, go to the Playground page on your Convey account and select the character that you want to import. For this example, we'll select Emily. You'll notice that this character has already been customized with a voice and her backstory, which is that of a bounty hunter. Copy the character ID and head back to your project. Here you'll need to open the Convey Importer and paste in the character ID. Then click Import. You'll need to wait for the character to be downloaded into your project. So now we have imported Emily into our scene. The Character Importer also creates a prefab for the character. This can be found in the Convey Prefab folder. Let's test out the scene. Press play to talk to the character Emily. Hi there, tell me something about yourself. Hi there, I'm Emily, a bounty hunter. I specialize in tracking down and apprehending fugitives who have escaped justice. I'm known for being relentless in my pursuit and never backing down from a challenge. I'm also a highly skilled fighter and have been successful in taking down some of the most dangerous criminals in the country. You can see that the character importer downloaded our character and set it up with lip sync and head and eye tracking functionality. Now that we've tested our scene, let's go ahead and save it. I'll save this as demo scene. Now let's import one more character. This time we'll import Tony, the character we created earlier. Copy Tony's ID and back in the project, use the importer to import this character. Okay, the character has been imported and the importer also creates a prefab for this character as well. You can adjust Tony as you like in the scene, and then save it, and let's test it out. Press play to talk to the character. You'll note that the default animation is feminine. We can update the animations later to better fit our character. But first, let's try it out. Hi, what is your mission? My mission is to lead archaeological expeditions to distant planets and explore them for evidence of past civilizations. I'm also responsible for documenting the artifacts and ruins that we discover in order to gain a better understanding of the universe and the civilizations that have existed within it. Hey, what are you doing here? Hi there. I'm a bounty hunter. I specialize in tracking down fugitives who have skipped out on their bail. What brings you here? What kind of fugitives are you tracking? I'm mostly after people who are wanted for serious crimes like murder, armed robbery, and drug trafficking. I also go after people who have skipped out on their court hearings or are avoiding prosecution. Hi, what kind of artifacts are you interested in? I'm interested in all kinds of artifacts, from ancient ruins to artifacts from more recent civilizations. I'm also interested in any artifacts that may provide insight into the technology and culture of past civilizations as well as any evidence of alien races. That's it. Now you know how to import a Ready Player Me character into Unity. You'll notice that the character importer sets up our characters with default animations, which can look too similar. We'll look at how you can import custom animations later in the video. Let's first look at how we can create a new scene and import our characters. The scene will have to be compatible with Convey. We'll drag and drop our characters into the new scene, and we need to make sure that the character text field is filled out under the Convey NPC component. This needs to be the character text game object. This is under background under the Convey transcript canvas component. This will ensure that the transcripts of the character will be visible to us in the project. I'll save the scene one more time and call it Demo Scene 2. Let's play the scene again to ensure that the transcripts are visible to us. 
Hi, what is going on with you? Hi there, I'm just getting ready to lead another space exploration mission. I'm looking forward to the adventure and to uncovering some new discoveries. How about you? Okay, let's move on to import some custom animations. To do this, we'll use Mixamo, which has good compatibility with Ready Player Me characters. You can search for the animations you want, such as the idle and talking animations. Let's go with this idle animation. We'll download this animation in the FBX format with skin. Let's also download a talking animation. We'll create a new folder called Animations and import the downloaded animations into it. Next, we'll need to create an animator controller. We'll create a new folder called Animators and create an animator controller inside it. We'll name the first one Tony Animator. The animator controller will play the animations, so we'll drag and drop the talk and idle animations into it to set it up. We'll need to make a transition from idle to talking and another one from talking to idle. We'll also create a parameter called talk. Next, we'll pick the transitions and remove the exit time. Set talk to be true from idle to talking and talk to be false from talking to idle. Now we need to give the character the new animator. If you play the scene, you'll notice that the animations are not working properly. This is because of an incompatibility between the skeleton of the Ready Player Me characters and the skeleton that ships with the Mixamo animations. To solve this, we'll click on the animations and go to the rig setting and set the animation type to humanoid. We also need to ensure that the animations are looping by clicking the animation tab. Scroll down and select loop time and then click apply. We'll apply this to both the talking and idle animations. Okay, let's play the scene again. Hey there, how are you doing today? Hi there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? And that's it for importing characters and adding custom animations to them in Convey. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. For any feedback or questions, email us at support at convey.com.